They knew it all along. Last night, a jury agreed as well. Michael Kufram was found guilty of the 1998 murder of Peggy Sue Case. Those who knew Peggy Sue say justice was finally served. For every crime, there's a story and the truth matters. Here's ABC4 senior crime and punishment correspondent Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. It was a good day, that according to those who knew Peggy Sue Case. They waited a very long time to hear that someone will actually be going to prison for her murder. We, the jury, impaneled in the above entitled case, find the defendant Michael Ignatius Cuffrin, as to count one, murder in the second degree, guilty. And with that, the 1988 murder of Peggy Sue Case came to a close. Her former boyfriend, Michael Kufrin, long suspected of the murder, was found guilty yesterday in a Provo courtroom. Her skeletal remains were found in a shallow grave in the backyard of a Spanish Fork home that the couple had rented. One of Peggy Sue's friends testified at the trial. I had hoped that there would be no way that there could be any other verdict other than guilty. Um, I'm, I'm very happy that it's finally come to this, that that it can finally come to an end. And for one of the detectives who originally investigated the case, the verdict was welcome news. I think it's a happy day for uh, the Ellsworth family to have total justice for Peggy Sue case. Peggy Sue's family had no comment regarding the verdict. In the 1980s, Beverly Peterman was good friends with Peggy Sue, but never trusted Kufrin. And when Peggy Sue disappeared, Kufrin kept telling her different stories of her whereabouts. At that point, I was getting scared because he kept in contact with me, which was not normal because him and I really had not had contact without her. So when he showed up at my house that day, I was very scared. Kufrin soon disappeared from Peterson's life, but she could never forget Peggy Sue. I wondered where she was every day for 29 years. And so did former detective Carl Johnston, who says the discovery of Peggy Sue's remains cracked the case against Kufrin. Kufrin's attorney says police dogs never picked up the scent of Peggy Sue's body at the cellar, and he claimed years later someone else returned the body and buried it. Mike had his own dog, and his own dog was using that root cellar as a dog house. Uh, the, dog the dog that we had there would only smell the dog. It didn't smell anything else. Before she was murdered, Peterman says Peggy Sue had an on-again, off-again relationship with Kufrin and was ready to leave him once and for all. But she never got that chance. Everybody can know now what happened. They've put her to rest. She is just at rest, and he is where he needs to be. Michael Kufrin was convicted of second-degree murder. He could face up to 15 years in prison when he's sentenced next month. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.